I ain't gonna say who it is, but it's a real famous rapper and it's a real famous R and B chick. Okay. Yeah. Pimp had a naked. He had a recording of them. I think he died with it, but he could he could have made millions of dollars. And and some of the people that's higher up in rap, if they would have seen that tape. You know what I'm saying? Me, it would've, you think that Kim Kardashian shit was something? Yeah, this would have blew it out the window. Man, this shit was this. This I just I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, for, use your imagination. The biggest R&B chick in the game. I already wow. know who it is. And one of the biggest rappers. You know what I'm saying? They made the most money in the game, and they wasn't supposed to be together. Or, or they were together and nobody knew it. They still together now. Are they still together now? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I got a story. I'm going to ask you if you knew about it because I got a feeling you know about it. So at my radio show, this guy came by one time, right? And then I say about five, six months later, the dude come back to my radio show and he's almost got tears in his eyes, right? And I could see him. I'm, so I wait till the commercial break and I say, what's, what's up, bro? That fool say, man. My hoe ran off. She stole ten thousand dollars of my money and tried to take it to Pimp C and give it to him for his choosing fee. I know you, you remember that story. I know you remember that story. You remember that story. Hey, 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 tears in his eyes. Yeah, hey, bro. But, but, but I'm gonna tell you something. He made a song about it on Project Pat. Hey, that, that's what he talking hey, about. Really? Yeah. Hey, but let me let me put it to you like this. A lot of hoes wanted to choose up on Pimp. A lot of them. A lot of them want to choose up on him because. You know, they you know, they listen to his music and his music resonate their lifestyle, you feel me? Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying, me, but you know, uh Pimp, he wanted to be in the game, but you know, in the deepest side of him was he was a family man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So he he loved his wife and he loved his kids. You know, but you know, Another side, then you got to think about his wife was the only one that was down when he when he was fucking yeah. in jail. Yeah, you know, so you know a lot of people, you know, and me, you know, I went to visit him in jail, wrote him letters all the time, you know. So Pimp had a lot of bitterness, you know, about niggas, you know. But when he got home, though, soon as he soon as he got home, and he got in that studio, he had about a quarter million dollars worth of features. Yeah, you know, it was right. Soon as he got, I'm, I'm telling you, man, this is this is anybody that know know. You know they, you know Bum B set him up right that a uh, free pimp C thing. Yeah, you know what I'm that was dope. But but at the on on the flip side, but you know the other side of that story too. But we yep. don't want to get to that. We ain't gonna know, go too deep. Thank you. We don't get too I deep. I knew you on knew that. about it. Yeah, I, uh, you know I know. I knew he called you. I know about everything, man. <laughs> hey, uh, well pimp pimp mainly main thing was that whoever was using his name should have been taking care of his mama. Wow, you know what I'm saying that's how he so felt. Was his mom not with... getting taken care of when he was gone? All I'm bro, saying, come on now. I'm asking. I'm just asking. I don't know. No, nah, bro. She wasn't getting taken care nah. of at all. No. Wow. Well, well, I don't know. No. The particulars of who who. <laughs> no, he said he, no. He, he don't, don't play he, with it. No. He he, know, he he from Port Island, so he might know. But but only, I'm from here. But I live he from here. Now. But he live with him. Yeah. But, but see, but see what, what what Pimp told me. The only thing I know about Pimp said, Ken, I don't give a fuck what motherfuckers do. As long as they taking care of my family, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what Pimp would always say to me. You know what I'm saying? Me. So me having a lot of entails. Like if I was if I was to tell the truth. Yeah. You know, like a lot of people don't know, man. You know, I ain't gonna say who it is, but it's a real famous rapper, and it's a real famous R&B chick. Okay. Yeah. Pimp had a naked. He had a recording of them. I think he died with it, but he could he could have made millions of dollars. And and some of the people that's higher up in rap, if they would have seen that tape, you know what I'm saying, me, it would you think that Kim Kardashian shit was something? Yeah, this would have blew it out the window. Man, this shit was this this I just I'm gonna do I'm gonna, for, use your imagination, the biggest R B chick in the game. I already wow. know who it is. And one of the biggest rappers, you know what I'm saying, that made the most money in the game. And they wasn't supposed to be together. Or or they were together and nobody knew it. They still together now. Are they still together now? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> dang, I know who that is. <laughs> God, no, no he, he, had, he, he had ain't got to go no further. He had the tape. Man, listen, I tried to get that tape. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got to go no further. Hey, them niggas, wow. hey, hey I done got to me some armed guards for that kind of money, man. That was a nice tape. Wow, <laughs> you seen it? You I'm know what I'm a right hand man, man. I'm telling you, man, listen, you man. You seen it. Listen, man, the biggest chick in the game. You know what I'm saying, me? And you know one of the you know dudes that was really getting it at one time, you know what I'm saying? Me, so 
you know, it's like, you know, it's a lot of shit, man. You know, pimp. You know, I mean, pimp. Pimp. You know, he, he was around a lot of shit. A lot of people, you know, before they became famous, they did a lot of dumb shit. You know, yeah. there's a lot of artists. You know, female artists do dumb shit. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Me to come to get up, and you know, it's just you know. What a human. They're human. They're yeah. human, man. Let me yeah. ask you, I'm going to switch gears on y'all for a second, and I know the people going to be mad because they would have loved to hear them story. That was good stuff right there. Yeah. Um, when you did that with uh, that PIMP, you was on that with, with, uh, 50, Cent. with 50 Cent. Uh, that was that was actually before meeting Pimp C, right? Or was did you know Pimp at the time when no, you did No, I knew it? Pimp. Okay, so so did y'all... You got to remember, 99... Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would have been all that shit come after two thousand three, and it now, went hard. Now Pimp had remember Pimp went I to jail. I want to know how he felt about that. Oh, no. Pimp went to jail for four years, right? Yeah, he uh -huh. did. So you got to remember at this time, I'm just pimping Ken for pimps up hoes down. Yeah, remember that I'm pimping Ken. Even though that was a billion views and everybody was loving pimping Ken, when Pimp C come home, I'm pimping Ken from Lil John album, from Too Short album, from yeah, uh, you right, 50 you so right. So Pimp, he like. Come here, nigga. You my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Before so that, we, you know, we my start, Yeah, so we started doing videos, too. So it's about six or seven videos me and Pimp did when he came home, and there's a lot. I did about six albums. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's like no matter what I was doing, you know, over there with 50 Cent or anybody else, you know what I'm saying? I had to be at the Player Anthems video. You yeah. know, with Outkast. I seen that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at that video. I want to ask you about that. And Break and, that down to me. Well, well, Pimp called me. He said, Ken... I want some pimps in the video. And all the pimps that you see in the I video. I seen Valentino. I seen a bunch call, of y'all in there. Ask Valentino. I'll call all them niggas. Because pimp said Ken run this shit. The X Valentino. He'll tell you. So yeah. a lot of them niggas, you know what I'm saying, me, you know, I'm not a hater. So I brought everybody in, you know, because I want pimp to have a good look. And, you know, I ain't no hater, right? So, you know, I ain't tripping on that shit. You know, I, you know me, man, I get in the video and go sell some DVDs in the mall the next day. Y'all know me. Man, oh, you said, yeah, I don't give a fuck, I man. I like that, boy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.